back in 1960, my mother found a lump in her left breast that was painful. And the doctors told her not to worry about it because cancer doesn't hurt. So she walked around with that lump for about a year. And then um, finally she had surgery and it did turn out to be cancer. Um, and she had what was called a Halstead radical mastectomy, uh, which was very extensive surgery those days. And um, she passed away about four years later from metastatic disease. Um, and about 10 years later, her kid sister got breast cancer as well. Um, I didn't really know their mother. I had always been told that my grandmother died of pancreatic cancer um, by my grandfather. And Beth said, have you ever seen a death certificate? And I said, no. And she had died 50 years before, so we could get it easily from New York City. And it turns out, we got the death certificate, I don't know, a couple of weeks later, and she died of adenocarcinoma of the ovary. And who signed the death certificate besides the physician was my grandfather. But I don't think he ever used the word uterus or ovary or vagina in his lifetime. And for him, he was more comfortable saying pancreatic cancer somehow. Um, and kind of fast forward to about seven years ago. Uh, my daughter at the age of 36 was diagnosed with breast cancer. I had been told several years before my daughter was diagnosed with breast cancer, I had gone to an oncologist. We were living in San Diego at the time, and I said, you know, I'm worried about giving my kids some predisposition to breast or ovarian cancer. I have so much of it in my family. And the guy said to me, it goes from mother to daughter. What are you worried about? You don't have ovaries. Forget about it. Through inquiries I made, I found out about the BRCA mutation. She had not been told about it by her surgeon. Um, and we were both tested, and she inherited the mutation from me. So I have uh, what's called an Ashkenazi founder's mutation. Uh, it's BRCA1187 del AG, and it's uh, kind of a nasty mutation. Um, and if you have it, you have a roughly, if you're a woman, 80, 85 percent chance of getting breast cancer in your life and about a 45 to 50 percent chance of getting ovarian cancer. And there are increased risks for guys, so I'm doing surveillance as well.